weight, weights and measures. At the end of this little um, look at the actual image here, we're going to look at some um, footage that shows a couple of these types of scales in action. Um, we measure things uh, that can hang together, things that are basically in one piece, um, with a meter ruler, as you can see here, or in America with a yard. And liquid things we measure with either a liter measure or with a gallon measure, which is a different amount. And dry things can be measured with uh, either with liters, this is true, or with uh, kilograms, or with a measure called a bushel measure, which is this thing here. This is a, a volume measurement called a bushel. A volume is the amount of stuff that is in a particular place. So, for example, the volume of a glass is how much space is inside that glass. As far as heaviness of things go, things are weighed with weights. And you can see the weights here, these great big lumps of metal. These are weights, different amounts. One kilogram, two kilograms, three kilograms. Or in the old imperial system, one pound, two pounds, three pounds, and so on. The weight is set on a beam. This is the beam going across here. And... In the middle of this, there's a little tiny axle here, which is running through the middle, and the beam turns on this little axle. And above this, there is a needle here, which moves from side to side, and this needle tells us when the balance is level. When it's directly vertical and lined up, the balance is level, in equilibrium, on equal balance. And on each side, we have the scales. Here's one scale, and here's the other scale. These little flat pans are called the scales. And they're held up by little cords onto the balance beam here. A different kind of balance is um, a brazier's balance. This is also used in farms and in other places where very large amounts of material being weighed at a time. And this weighs things by hanging them on a hook. And sometimes the whole balance beam, instead of being supported by a pole like it is here, but the whole balance beam can also hang from a hook as well, down to this point, the fulcrum. This is called the fulcrum, the point where this balance beam, which is a great big lever, turns. And here we have an axle as well, a tiny axle tree running through the middle of the upright support. And we hang things here on a hook. And we use weights. This weight here can move along the beam. And that then tells us how heavy this is. We move this bait weight along. And we have the weights, the numbers here marked. And depending on how far along it is, for this to be in equilibrium, we know how heavy the item is here. And this tells us exactly how much weight we have. Now I'm going to show you how this works in real life. In this scale, here we have the balance beam running across and the little needle here which moves from side to side when the scale is in balance. Here we can see the chains hanging up and here's the scale and here's the scale itself. Here's the balance beam running across and the little needle here that moves on its little axle tree. That's not enough to buy and here we have an example of a old scale beam in action. And we can see it here. Here is the, uh, the hook and here's the counterweight. And the weight is moved along. until the scale here is in balance. So this is the balance point telling us exactly how much. Once the scale beam is horizontal, then the man doing the weighing, uh, the flour in the bucket at the other side, knows exactly how much flour is in the bucket. And this here 
is um, using gravity to measure how much something weighs. And here is another example of a scale beam. Um, in this case we have the hooks for hanging the materials and the counterweight which should slide down here. The scale itself is hanging from the fulcrum point here so when it's level um, we know that the weight on this side is equal to the marks on the scale beam here.